Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. I'm a lifestyle blogger here at Your Trendy Therapist. As always, you can always follow along on Instagram at Your Trendy Therapist. I would love if you would come hang out with me there as I do spend the majority of the time on my Instagram. So come hang out with me and come say hi. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do this video today. It's going to be a little bit different than my other videos. Um, this one is going to be an actual day in the life of me with my therapy job. So if you're new around here, you may not know yet that I'm also an occupational therapist. So I do home health therapy where I go around people's homes and do a little occupational therapy with them. I also do PRN work here at a skilled nursing facility here in Austin, Texas. So... So for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to share with y'all just some treatment intervention ideas and things that I use for my patients. I'm going to take y'all along and let y'all see what I got from the Dollar Tree because these are just some helpful things that I picked up from there. And I love going to the Dollar Tree, y'all, that always have so many good things. And I did have some specific patients in mind as I was going to the Dollar Tree. So some of the things that I bought are actually for some of my intervention ideas. Okay, so this is a grabber or a reacher, whatever you want to call it. And you just press this button right here and it closes the little claws and so this is a really good device for somebody if they need to put on pants you can kind of hold it like this get the pants up or you can use this to pick up objects off the floor this is really good if somebody has hip precautions where they can't bend past 90 degrees um this is a really really helpful tool okay this is another one of my favorites, so a long-handled sponge, or a long-handled loofah, I guess you could say. So, I actually have patients tell me that they prefer this versus that long-handled sponge. Now, the long-handled sponge, most of my therapists know this out there, that it is kind of like, it's good for length. But at the same time, the sponge doesn't really lather. And I know patients kind of get a little bit weird about it. They're like, this isn't even working. This is amazing. So this lathers really well. And it also gives a little bit of length too. So if they are sitting there, they can kind of reach the bottom of their legs to get their legs. If they do have hip precautions, um, you can get your back really well. And I know that's a big thing for people um, just washing their back. They're like, I can't reach my back. So this is a perfect device for that, and this is a dollar at the Dollar Tree as well. The next thing I got was just some blue duct tape. Now, I always pick up different colored tapes, whether it be like a bright orange, a bright green, blue, just any color that provides some contrast because I do feel like this is very good to modify the environment at some people's homes. So, for example, um, the reason why I got this, actually, I'm thinking of a particular person in general that I'm going to help modify some things on the washer and dryer because of visual deficits. I'm going to put this on the washer for cold water, so I'm going to indicate that cold is blue. Now this is just something I'm doing for this particular person. Obviously you have to assess cognition and things like that to see if this is even an appropriate thing to do. But this is just my thought. I'll share more of that whenever I actually do the whole modification process because I plan to do a video on that as well. But yeah, different color tapes, always a good idea. You can do this on wheelchairs. You can do this in the home environment, like I said. Um, I don't know if y'all have any other ideas, please comment below because I love to hear what other people are using um, color tape for. So the next thing I got was this little thing. Now, I had a different idea in mind as I picked this up. I was thinking that I could cut it in half and kind of use it as a long-handled brush device and just kind of stick the brush in there, but I'm using something else for that, so that's not what I'm going to do with it. But I was thinking, you know, you could use this as a bilateral grip and then isometric exercise, so where you're like holding in like this. You can put a wrist weight around it and kind of use it just as some added resistance for some exercises. Like, I know I look kind of silly <laughs> doing this right now, but some good upper body strengthening work can be done with this thing, guys. <laughs> okay, so for the next thing, I bought a brush, and I'm going to share with y'all how I'm going to modify this. Okay, so this is PVC piping from Home Depot from back in the day. I've had this for a while, like I said, and um, I decided to put it to good use with the brush to make a long handled brush. For somebody that doesn't necessarily have the range of motion to brush the back of their hair, the side of their hair, or whatever it might be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece of PVC piping, I'm going to connect this smaller piece to the top of it, and then I am going to 
put my brush in there. And then that way, I can now use my brush to brush the back of my hair. You can always play around with like the shape or the angle of the brush too. Just whatever works, y'all. Now, if your brush that you have is not staying in there, you can always glue it in. You I thought this was interesting. I got picked this up because I felt like this would be a good tool for someone with arthritis that could hold on to this and you could put some grocery bags in here. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, now obviously I wouldn't do anything super heavy, but if they have a few grocery bags that are just like hard to hold, what you could do is you could hook these on here. And just kind of use this as your as your handle. Now, like I said, I would like really be careful with the amount of weight that you're putting on this, but I thought that this would be a good tool for somebody that has arthritic joints and then needs more of a gross grasp to hold on to things. So, I don't know. I like this idea. I just came across it and I thought that this could work really well. If you needed to build up the handle a little bit more, you could put some pipe insulation over this to make it for a larger handle um, if they don't necessarily have that range of motion for grip and you can build that on top of here. That could also be another option. The next thing that I have is this 48 piece puzzle. This would be a good um, visual spatial problem solving, fine motor coordination. You could do an activity in standing, work on balance and overall standing tolerance. So okay, the last thing in this bag is a 25 piece construction block puzzle. Now, I do get, whenever I work at a skilled nursing facility, I do have a lot of men sometimes on my caseload that used to build things. So I thought something like this could be so good. So let me show y'all what this is. Okay, so I'm gonna open it with y'all. Oh goodness, y'all, these, <laughs> these pieces are way smaller than I expected. Um, but it does come with a step-by-step -step instruction guide. So you can always grade this activity, make it harder, make it easier. But for this one, I would definitely say that whoever you do this with, you might want to make sure that their fine motor coordination is on the better side. And if you wanted to work on something else like problem solving, following directions, picking out items, just some cognitive related tasks associated with this, then this could be a good option. Okay, let's see what's in my last bag now. Okay, you can never go wrong with bead, y'all. I feel like this was fun. I picked this up because I, it had like a little string to make some bracelets. So I thought that'd be a really fun activity to make some bracelets. So this is not only good for fine motor coordination, but I think that this would be a really good activity to work on maybe like sequencing with different colors, following directions, that sort of thing. So you can always implement some cognition components to this task as well. The next thing I got that I think is a super good idea that everyone should have in their OT toolbox, y'all. Okay, this is a pill organizer. You can do so much with this. Now, the one that I got is a seven day pill organizer AM and PM. Now, somebody messed this up <laughs> because it is definitely AM and AM. So I'm gonna have to bring this one back, but I literally just got back like from the store an hour ago. I'm opening all this with y'all, but I'm just cracking up. Okay. So yeah, somebody definitely messed this up, but this is a good, it's always good to work on medication management because some of our patients have to manage this by themselves at home. So it's really important to address this, see if they can do it. You can use simulated pills. You can use some beads if you're working with them in therapy on it. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is definitely going back. It's so funny. I can't believe they messed it up. That's pretty okay, bad. The next thing I got is a paint your own sun catcher. I thought that this was so much fun. This is really cool, y'all. So they can hang this whenever they're done with it. And this would be good for some fine motor, just a very therapeutic task. If somebody, if this is like their leisure, something that they like to do, you know, increasing quality of life is always something that we're all about as OTs. And if this is somebody's idea of like a perfect leisure skill, then why not? I mean, this is so fun, y'all. And some other things that you can do to actually make this harder, you only have four different colors of paint. 
So you can use this guide on the back to make, to create different colors with the colors of paints that you are getting with this set. And you can see if somebody can follow the directions by mixing the certain colors to make the other color. So I thought that this was really cool. And then you can always make sure, like if you want to make it into a cognition related test, you can always have them figure out, you know, by using the guide, how to make the purple color and then paint this purple, how to make the orange color, how to make the green color. Um, and different things like that. So I thought this would be a really cool activity, not only for leisure, but you can incorporate fine motor cognition and all that good stuff. I love this one so much that I, <laughs> that I got it in this one as well. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a parrot. Everyone loves parrots, right? So this is fun. So I got these to address visual deficits. So using more tactile for different tasks. So my idea for this one was to use it to modify their microwave and also the laundry. So doing the washing machine and then the dryer. Um, I will do a whole nother video on that once I do this and see how it works. So I plan to do that with a patient actually this week for home house. So I'll keep y'all updated. So the last thing I have is this basket. And what I do with this is I attach it to people's walkers with the use of zip ties. And what I do is I just kind of put the zip tie in here, attach it to the walker, and then however many I need is what I do, and I just make sure that it's pretty stable when I'm doing it. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, that is my goal in life, y'all, is to help people. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And comment below and let me know what was your favorite. And if you are an occupational therapist or a physical therapist or, I don't know, whatever you do, comment below. I'd love to know more about you. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.